Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how to make this 6x6 acetate stepper card. Now I appreciate not everybody has um, 12 or 12 paper, so I do show you um, a way of doing it if you've got like A4 or something slightly less. Um, the papers that I've used on here today are from my new Bright Summer Days pack. Um, and so this pack's available over on my Etsy store. I tried to go for a bit of a mix of floral and non-floral on this one. Um, so yeah, so go and check it out. They're all nice, vibrant colours, perfect for summer. So I've used the quite small printed blue one on the front there and then a more floral one, but it's not obviously floral. Um, and then the dyes are from Coco Rosa Studio. So go over to there and use my code iced 20 and that will get you 20 percent off so this is a flower dye from a while i think that's still available i'll list them all below anyway in the description um and the happy birthday as well happy birthday actually comes with an outline as well so you can actually make it a solid shape if you want to which is good acetate was from dovecraft as was this lilac card was from dovecraft too um so yeah but i'll leave all the stuff that i've used in the bottom um in the link below in the description below um, and then you've got space on the back to write. So yeah, so that's that's that. So let's get into it. Okay, so for this card, for the base card, you're going to need a 6 by 12 And on your 6 by 12 along the 12-inch edge, you're going to score at 1 inch, at 2 inches, at 4 inches, and at 6 inches, and then at 9 inches. Now, if you've only got a 4-length card, then do it six inches by whatever the length of your card is. And then all you'll have to do is you'll just have to, these two bits here, when you get to this two, these two bits, so do your one inch, your two inch, your four inch, your six inch. When you get to the end, just divide whatever you've got in half and then just make that the measurement. So say you've got 11 and three quarters, then, or 11 and a half, then just divide one, two, three, four, five and a half in two, which is what, two and three quarters? And, and so then you'll score at one, two, eight and three quarters instead. Okay, so just divide it up. So that last panel, just divide whatever you've got left into two and score halfway of that panel. And then you also need a piece of acetate that's also six by 12. Obviously, again, if you haven't got 12 inch um, acetate, because mine isn't, mine's actually um, 11 and three quarter. So for that reason, I'm going to score halfway, go at five and seven eighths. Okay, now my acetate is, this is Dovecraft acetate, and it comes with a protective layer on it. So we're going to take that off after, um, but I'm just going to score it for now, and then at least it's scored. So with the acetate, I'm just going to peel off the protective layer. And then we're just going to fold it along that score line that we've done. That might be a bit tricky, so just uh, line it up and give it a, a burnish. So you get a tent fold card and mine is going to be mine's six inches wide and then I've just done it the length of the A4. So then on your card, starting with the smallest score lines, you're literally going to go mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain all the way along. So you should end up with that, hopefully. So then onto this, you're now going to start sticking your pattern papers apart from you don't want to stick the one at the front, okay? But you will need these pieces, so if you get them all ready. So one piece of mat that's five eight, seven eighths by five and seven eighths, and the pattern is three quarter by five and three quarter. Then the middle piece, you need one piece of mat that's one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, and the pattern is one and three quarter by five and three quarter. Now the back piece, if you're doing a twelve by, uh, six by twelve, the back piece will be mat will be two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and the pattern will be two and three quarter by five and three quarter if however you have scored it at two and whatever i said before you'll just need to make a mat that's according so the width will be the same but then the height of it will just be slightly less so just have a look and judge it for yourself i usually take about a quarter of an inch off roughly um, and then you need the same mat again but you then just need a white piece that's the same as your pattern so a, a, a white piece that's two and three quarter by five and three quarter Okay, so the white piece and the very, very front piece, you're not sticking on just yet. So just hold on to those. We're just going to deal with this middle piece here. It's going to go on there like that. And that back piece there is going to go on like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. Okay. 
Okay, so now what you want to do is grab your um, acetate piece and the back of it is just going to go on the back here. Okay, so this is the bit that will have your message on it. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and stick this on first. Now, I'm actually going to stick it all the way to the bottom like that. And then my white piece will go over the top. So you'll just see around the outside, but it's, it's fine. It also means that when you actually stick this down, because this piece isn't a 12 by 12, isn't a 12 by 6, 6 by 12, it's not going to be quite six inches high. But that's fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. It's actually going to end up uh, being five and three quarters. But it's, it, you know, a quarter of an inch, not that big a problem. So you want to go ahead and stick this onto here. Now, what I would probably advise doing is if you kind of put this all in so it's into place, this other piece, let's put something else on this. Here we go, like that. Okay, so when you've got your when you've got your acetate on here and your white piece is going to go on, you don't want to be able to see tape around the outside of your border. You want it to be nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this out. And instead of adding tape to the acetate, I'm going to add it to the actual card. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on here so I can see roughly where my white piece is going to end up. And I'm just going to make a little mark just under each corner. I mean, you can judge it if you want to, but I just want to be super sure I'm not going to end up with tape showing. So I've got four little marks here, so I know not to go past that. So I'm going to go ahead now and add my red tape onto that piece of card. OK, so I've got my tape on. I've peeled part of the backing back. So now we just want to go ahead and stick this onto the inside. Need to go ahead and stick that down onto there so you can use either red tape or normal double-sided i'm going to use normal double-sided because i think it will stick fine i'm not going to use yoohoo because i'm using acetate and it could melt the acetate or do weird things to it so i'm just going to stick with tape now one thing as well to note on the back here if you want to stamp this then do it before you stick it down i haven't done that so i'm just going to probably put a I'll probably stick a greeting on rather than stamp a greeting. Right, now before we stick this bit down to the front and obviously stick our front piece on, I want to stick whatever I want to go in here. Uh, so you've got that kind of 3D effect. I want to stick everything on the acetate now. So I've gone ahead and cut out Have Birthday. This is from Coco Rosa Studio. Um, so don't forget to use Ice 20 um, when you go over there and make an order. Um, and I've also used one of their flowers as well. So this flower here, I've cut out of this um, tropical Miri card pack. It's the green, it's like a tealy green. And then I've also got some uh, lilac pearl card as well. And I've just cut out just the flowers. Um, so I've got a whole like flower section. So this is going to go at the back, on the back. And then the happy birthday is going to go on the front. So now all I need to do is add another piece of tape here to stick the acetate onto and then I can go ahead and stick the um, patterned piece on the front. So I'm just going to concertina down this whole section and then make sure this acetate's nice and flat and then stick that down. You've got to make sure everything's nice and flat so then it will fold flat in the envelope. So now it's folded flat, I can go ahead and stick that over the top. And so there's your finished card. Now, obviously, if you want to add more onto your acetate, you can. I feel like this corner's a bit bare. Um, the other thing as well you can do is, obviously, on the back, you can see the back of that flower. So if you wanted to, you could cut out another flower, but just revert in the reverse, and then just stick it on the back over the top so you don't have all that tape showing. Um, so that's something else you can do. But, yeah, but that's the card for today. So please go and check out my Etsy shop. This is the Bright Summer Day Pack, as I mentioned before. Um, it's over there. Um, and also go and check out Coco Rosa Studio. Don't forget to use Ice 20 to get yourself 20% off. But there's lots of things you can do with this card. Lots of scenes you can build. The one that I did before, I actually used um, Dovecraft. Um, I think it's called Nature's Grace, I think it was called. But it was, um, I used some first edition bee dyes. And I had like a bee and a little hive. And it looked, it was really cool actually. It looked like the bee was flying off. And 
you know you can really go to town with it so yeah and obviously you've got to space on the right on the back to write and it will fold flat to fit in a envelope for a six by six card so yes i hope you enjoyed today please like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and i'll see you next time bye